Hello everyone, and welcome to this demonstration of how to create an ordering service using the IBM Blockchain Platform Console. If you watched our other video on how to create a peer, much of this flow will seem similar to you. You still have to create a certificate authority first, use it to create identities and an organization, and then finally use those identities to create the ordering service itself. Once again, this information and more is present in our series of tutorials, taking you through a full end-to-end -end where you create all the nodes and identities, create a channel, join a channel, and deploy a smart contract. By the end of this video, you'll have a configuration that looks like this, only without the channel, which we'll create in our next demonstration. So let's go ahead and add that CA. We're creating a CA, so we can just click Next here. As we did with the peer, we'll need to give the CA a display name. And as before, you can use whatever values you want, but we'll be calling it the ordering service CA. We'll give an admin identity of admin and a secret of admin PW for our CA admin. Although this identity has the same ID and secret of the org1 CA admin, it is not the same identity because this is not the same CA. Note the resource allocation box. If you leave this box unchecked, your CA will be deployed with default resources. If you want to know what those resources are, for example, to check against the resources available in your cluster, click the box and then Next. If you're comfortable with the default allocation, click Next. You'll be taken to the summary screen which will show the values for the CA you are creating. If these seem right to you, click Add Certificate Authority. We talked in our previous video about the gray box. When it's green, the CA can be used. But before we can use the CA to register identities for our ordering service organization, we need to enroll an admin for this CA which we can do by clicking on the CA and clicking on Associate Identity. From there, enter the enroll ID and secret you used when creating the CA, Admin and Admin PW. Then give this identity the name Ordering Service CA Admin. Then click Associate Identity. If you click over to your wallet, you can see that the CA Admin is there, indicating it has been enrolled successfully. The CA is now ready to be used to register and enroll identities. As with the peer, we need to register two identities one for the ordering service admin, and one for the ordering service nodes. First up will be the ordering service admin. We'll give it an enroll ID of OS admin and a secret of OS admin PW. This is an admin, so we use the admin type, not the peer, orderer, or client type, and ignore the enrollments and attributes. Now we can register the identity of our ordering node. We'll use an enroll ID of OS1 and a secret of OS1 PW. As this is an ordering node, use the orderer type and ignore the enrollments and attributes. Now that we have the CA and have used it to register identities, we can create the definition of the ordering service organization, which we do by clicking the Organizations tab and then Create MSP Definition. The display name for this MSP will be called Ordering Service MSP, while the MSP ID will be OS MSP. Our CA here is the Ordering Service CA, not the Org1 CA. Give it the enroll ID and secret of the admin of your ordering service organization, OS Admin and OS Admin PW. Do not use any default value that might be here. Then give this identity the name Ordering Service MSP Admin. Then click Generate. That will create the identity. And then export it to your machine. Once you've done that, click Create MSP Definition. You should see the Ordering Service MSP. And if you look in your wallet, you should now see the Ordering Service MSP Admin identity we just created. Now that we have the MSP and identities that we need, we can go back and create our ordering service. Click the Add Ordering Service tile and specify that you're creating an ordering service. On the next panel, give this ordering service the name Ordering Service. If you intend your network to be used for testing and development, you can choose one node here. Keep in mind, however, that a single node ordering service is not crash fault tolerant, which means that during a maintenance cycle or upgrade, you will not be able to commit transactions on a channel hosted on that ordering service. If your network is meant for production, choose the 5 node option, as this ordering service is both crash fault tolerant and able to handle the loss of two nodes and not lose function. As we have done for our CAs and our peer, we will use the default resource allocation. In the summary screen, we will be able to inspect the resources this ordering service needs to be deployed and check it against the resources available in our cluster. On the next screen, make sure that you specify the ordering service CA, not the org1 CA. Now let's give the ordering node identity that we registered, OS1, and the secret, OS1PW. Then select the ordering service MSP. As we did with the peer, we could ignore the CSR hostname for now. Next, select which fabric version image you want to use to deploy this ordering service. As with the peer, I will select the highest version available here, 
as it contains the latest fixes and improvements. It will also set me up well when we enable V2 capabilities, which are currently not available. On the next screen, choose the ordering service admin identity you created, ordering service MSP admin. On the next panel, review the summary screen to make sure these values are what you expect. Because we chose not to customize our resource allocation, pay particular attention to this section, as it represents the total amount of resources needed for this deployment. When you are ready, click Add Ordering Service on the summary screen. It can take several minutes to create an ordering service. Check your Kubernetes cluster to monitor the status of your deployment. When the ordering service has finished deploying, you'll see the gray box turn green. You should now have two CAs, a peer, and an ordering service. All the components you need to create a channel, which you can learn about in our next video. Until then, thank you for watching, and happy blockchaining.